you know how they say you're the only thing that's in the way of you right like you're the thing that's blocking your own growth i think what they mean like because it means so much but it's like i think people don't really get it because they don't see it because we don't see that it's our own thoughts we think we know what we should do but sometimes we don't in those times that we don't it's like maybe we should take advice from someone else but it's like if you don't have the humility to be able to listen to someone else and like be like okay well let me try that then it's like nothing changes so then nothing changes because you're the one that's blocking the thing that could change because if something is to change it has to be us first like we have to change in order for our life to change we have to change our habits our thought processes right and it's like i get it bro like it's so hard to go from knowing what you need to do to actually doing what you need to do but there is no other option right like i wish i could help you out but like i've said in the past if i did a hundred push-ups a day for you and i'm like i'm gonna do a hundred push-ups for you so you can get in shape that doesn't make any sense how are you gonna get in shape if i'm the one that's doing the push-ups so like You're the one that has to do the push-ups in your own life. Metaphorically speaking, and literally, right? Like, I don't know. I just get it because now I'm on the other side of the thing, right? Like, I remember when I wasn't mentally healed. I remember when I was that gangster thug. I remember when I was robbing people. I remember when I was... A different person I remember when I was the man I didn't want to be I remember the self-harm the depression the anxiety the anxiety attacks the horrible self-talk in my head like I remember it all all the trauma I remember being homeless and all these things that I've went through I remember it all and it's like all those things I went through just made me stronger. Like, three years ago, going through a breakup, like, people look at it like, when they go through a breakup, they're like, life is over. And it's like, what they don't realize is that if you just look at it, look at the breakup, look at the trauma, a new life could be starting, right? Like, you're looking at it like life is over, but after destruction comes creation. It's like once everything is destroyed, you get to, like, decide what you want to rebuild. After you are destroyed, you can then rebuild yourself into whatever you want to be, right? And I know it's hard, it's hard to go from being like, okay, yeah, bro, that's easy for you, but it wasn't easy for me. I had to make the sacrifice. But it's like, once you're at rock bottom, it's like, the, what else are you going to do? The hardest part is being able to make these changes when your life isn't really going that bad. Like, people's life is, they'll be like, they'll hate their life and shit. And they'll be anxious and miserable, but they'll be like, at least I have a good job and I make good money, right? And that one good thing is kind of making them so comfortable that they don't even want to try to change the other things. Because those ch trying to change something, right? Trying to remove a bad habit and replace it with a good habit, like, that is painful, it's uncomfortable and if but if you're someone that's at rock bottom and there's no more comfortability at all 
it's so much easier to change. It's so much easier to be like, okay, yeah, I might as well try to do 50 push-ups, you know, every, like four times a week. Like, because there's nothing else. Like, you, the, you're at the fucking bottom. But, like, I don't know. I just wish that we didn't have to go to the fucking bottom for us to see this. To see that it's like, okay, we can change ourselves into who we want to be right? It's just not easy. And like, we get caught up on changing our lives. But I've said this in the past, that there's a difference between changing your life and changing yourself. Like there's a difference between working on your life and working on yourself. And when you're working on yourself, it's a focus of your mental health, your physical strength, your your actual health, your diet, your like your hobbies, right? Like if you have hobbies, then it's setting aside a time for your hobbies, setting time aside to spend with your children, to nurture your connections and relationships, right? Like that's something that's like working on the self. When you start working on your life, it's more like financial thing. And I guess working on connections with other people, like, is in between on, like, working on your life and working on yourself. Because your family is part of your life. But building, making sure those connections are strong helps the self, right? You'll have a certain thing within yourself. And it's like... We're the ones that just need to start making these changes and just move out of the way, right? So it's like, because I, I really think it's not that you're in the way, it's that your ego is in the way. Your ego is in the way of being able to change, to being able to admit that you maybe made the wrong choice. Maybe you made the wrong decision and you don't want to admit it. So because you don't want to admit it, you can't even get close to making the right decision. Right. And it's like your ego is in the way, because if you admit you made the wrong decision, who's going to get hurt? You think that's going to hurt your soul? No, it's going to hurt your ego. And it's like we need to remind ourselves that we need to be hurting our ego. Right. We need to be having those ego deaths, those little moments like that where our ego gets punched down and like. Because it helps us gain more control over us, right? If you get comfortable with facing fears, you will get more comfortable with facing fears, right? If you start to get comfortable with, like, working out, like, I work out now, I've worked out for three years now, so I'm just used to it. Like, I enjoy that pain after a good workout. Right? Because I know that pain brings growth. Because it's not like I actually like the physical pain from, like, working out and, like, my arms and legs hurt or whatever. It's that I know what that brings. I have worked on my perspective since, like, I don't know, just... I've learned to move my ego out the way. What I think of something, move it out the way and just kind of go for the thing. If I want to get over there and I see there's all these plants in the way, I would just go straight ahead regardless of all the plants in the way, right? And it's like you're in the way of the thing you want to go to. You want to go over there metaphorically speaking, whatever's over there for you, like whatever your dream is, whatever your idea is, whatever you would love to be, like whatever you would love to have, whatever the fuck, it's over there. But you're making all the excuses of, oh my God, there's all these plants and there's no path and there's no whatever. And it's like, you better get yourself a fucking machete or a fucking knife and start chopping these shits down. Right? Get a fucking stick and start just whipping these things down. Like, 
I don't know. That's why I think it's important to gain strength. To, like, gain a mental strength. Get yourself in physical shape. Work on these little things. Because then you can start attacking these bigger things easier. Because you'll be stronger. So you'll be strong enough to say, okay, my ego needs to get out the way so I can change. My habits need to change. So I need to get out the way so I can change my habits. And I need to come up with new, better habits for my life. Like, it just takes work to be able to just say to yourself, this is what I need to do, and then just doing it, right? Like, not about talking about it. It's about just actually knowing and then doing something about it because no one else will. And it's like no one can do anything for you because you're in the way. But as soon as you move out the way, people can help you. Like, you're not necessarily on your own. Like, people can give you advice. People can do this. But if someone gives you the advice that could change your life, if you didn't listen, that's your fault. That's your problem. Right? Like, it's because your ego was in the way. So you didn't want to listen. But once you learn to move your ego out of the way, bro, you can grow so dramatically like you will grow so fast because your ego is not there blocking you